What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Ty Boogie. Yo, listen, before we get started, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers this year. I'm really on my consistency right now, so please just support me by hitting the subscribe button and liking this video, all right? Um, so real quick, I just want to tell you guys, so we're going to be watching some of the Dan Snyder clips from Nickelodeon that are pretty, like, they're, they're, uh, it's a little uneasy to, uh, to watch, I'm going to be honest with you, because these are teenagers, but we're going to watch some of the clips that were really inappropriate that he allowed on Nickelodeon, all right? So, I'm going to tell you right now, if stuff like this makes you angry, you might want to click off this video, because a lot of these clips is like, hey, yo, especially towards the end, all right? So, I made it. Like, it kind of gets worse as it goes, so. Let's go. This is Ariana Grande, but again, she is a teenager in this video. Remember, these are all kids, all right? You can get juice from a potato. Like who is, Fans of Ariana Grande are absolutely that? outraged at some of the footage that's recently resurfaced on social media showing some of her behind the scenes and web only videos that were shot for Nickelodeon. This content is the brain ch A lot of this footage is the brainchild of Nickelodeon showrunner Dan Schneider. I've talked about Dan only. extensively here on my TikTok before, but this guy mm. is the epitome of creep. There are videos of him in hot tubs with some of his young actresses. He was always putting adult humor in kids shows, and he made some of his young actors do some extremely creepy and definitely not okay things. I'm going to show you another clip at the end of this TikTok that Ariana Grande had to do. And it really has me curious. What is the extent of creepy behavior that Ariana Grande experienced while working for Nickelodeon? I mean, so many of her co-stars and people that were on the same network have come forward recently claiming they were not only abused, but they were abused repeatedly. And the footage that Dan Schneider had Ariana star in is creepy to say the least. I don't know if somebody with such a high profile like Ariana would ever come forward and actually expose what had happened to them, but my heart breaks just imagining what possibly could have happened to her while she worked for Dan Schneider. I'm going to play you another clip now and you decide for yourself, is this creepy or not? Because according to a recent press release from Dan Schneider, he believes that all of the content that he filmed for Nickelodeon is completely family friendly. I'm soaking wet! Quick, somebody bring me the- you can get juice from a potato. Bro, and she's like sitting on a bed. It's a a webcam. Like, come on, bro. Any adult can look at this and be like, nah, bro, this is inappropriate. Like, let's do a different joke. But the fact that he allowed it just shows how much of a creep this guy was. That's why you got to be careful what you ask for. You look at all these people on TV and be like, oh, I want to be just like that. I, I want to be like Ariana Grande because she's on TV. But you don't know what these people are going through behind the scenes. Look at the whole Diddy case. You don't know what these people are going through behind the scenes. Yeah, I think that's more than you are. Are you a pickle orange? Only one. Oh, 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 I got blue. A hat of spoons, and we get hat of spoons. A hat of spoons. <laughs> this is why I'm in Hollywood. Yeah. Eat your cereal, kids. <laughs> yeah, I think that's more than that. You orange? Are right, you a pickle orange? Only one. one. Oh, 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 oh. So this is this is what I'll say about this clip because I've been like a supervisor or manager over women before. Like, uh, uh, being in a position of power over, like, you know, people and women are a part of those people. I'll put it like that. And let me just say this. is a real big difference when you're a man in a position of power over women, like whether you're a manager or supervisor, than it is when you're over men. Granted, you give them the same respect, but with the woman, one thing that I always stood by is... I don't care if like our hands may both be on the keyboard. I'm going to say, excuse me, because I don't want to touch you. I, you, I don't want to come close to our skin touching. Tickling is way too much. 
tickling it is flirtatious it's you're touching somebody's side it's surprise it's not consensual at all granted the person could laugh but you can't just walk up and tickle a stranger and a stranger's just gonna take it as oh okay cool no you i i couldn't be on a double date with my bro and his girl and my girl is right here and i go around and tickle his girl it's automatically inappropriate so the, it's the same thing kind of stands like in a work setting, especially with women that are younger than you or it, even under age to just add to it. You definitely can't be tickling like that's not a OK. Yeah, you could look at that in a light way, but I'm very much of a why. Like, why is that the joke you chose? Like, why do you have to touch her? Why not just scare her? Ah, why do you have to also touch her? The, the, the tickling part just seemed like an excuse to me. How did Dan Schneider get away with this? Have you ever noticed the weird audio clips at the end of Victorious? I'm a little too old. Mm. Yes! 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 Hey, yo! Is it my turn to squat? What? Mm. You do it way more gentle than my mom does it. Yeah, smell your foot. Mm. Looks like we have a long night of snuggling ahead of us. What the hell? There's no way this is real. I'm a bad boy, aren't I? Mm. That is so not tight. Hey, mm. yo. I don't want to get blackballed. Here comes that feeling. Alright, no more. Yo, there's no way. There's no way that they let this stuff air. And nobody caught it. Nobody said anything about it. There's no way, bro. It's kind of, I'm a li I'm a little too old to like have watched Victorious, but this is why it's so important to pay attention to what your kids is watching. Just because it's on a kids network or on kids YouTube does not mean that it's for kids there's the little small stuff that yeah if you walk by the tv you won't notice it but then you hear something like this you're like wait what the hell what's my like my kid is being programmed by this stuff like these things go into their subconscious and what the heck this is so inappropriate let me just say this real quick and then we'll go on to the next video on the early days of youtube i don't know if you guys remember but there were a lot of videos that YouTubers would do that's like soft prawn. It would be soft prawn, if you know what I'm saying. And the reason why they would do it is because they knew the audience that wanted to see it were hornballs. I'll just say that. And again... That just kind of goes to you're subconsciously giving the audience something without being obvious with it, which is why I feel like the same thing could be done on the side of kids YouTube, where they're showing things that it makes the kids a little bit more curious. I don't know. I, I remember one time I walked by my daughter. She was on an iPad on YouTube for kids. It was on the YouTube for kids app. And... It was a video of the girl trying to like give a DIY on how to scrunch up your your shirt to make it like, you know, like a crop top. And I immediately told her to turn it off. But I'm just thinking like, what? I just so happen to walk by that. Who's to say this doesn't always happen? This is why we need to be in tune with what our kids is watching. Now, I mean, certain things is not for kids to see. Dan Snyder is so weird for this. Teenagers. Yeah, a beauty pageant, not a booby pageant. Oh, bro. Why do you even buy these? A booby pageant. Teenagers. 
I know we're adults to us. It's like, oh, we hear crazy jokes. We see the wildest things on Netflix. Cool. But remember, these are kids. And then the people that watches this are kids younger than them. That's that's wild. That that this was passed. Mr. Boobs.com. Overturn them. I can't. My mom wore them last night. And it's just like, why that joke? Again. So many other jokes. Why those jokes? Dan Schneider is such a creep. There are so many feet scenes in his shows, which I'm sure he just put in for his own sick enjoyment. Hey, yo. And take a look at these tweets from the iCarly Twitter account. Why does he always feel the need to reference feet? I'm sorry, I had to mute that because of the music. My mom really are to make sure that I have not seen no cause she is not really happy about it. I Carly Oh wow. Bro. If if you see it, you know. <laughs> so this guy I, I don't know, like what do you do for a guy like this? Like do you if nobody files like a case against him, like can he still get like time or something like that because i just feel like this is real predatory like i don't know it was wild in dan schneider what is that uh 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 my mom that's crazy actually that's not why we're changing oh, your shirt <laughs> we're changing the progression of days oh. but i can't wait to see your new shirt is everyone excited about vic's new shirt yeah. oh. What, Liz Gillies? Because I don't, I don't know what the shirt's going to be like. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know what, what time it's going to be. I'm just really excited. I'm so, like, I'm kind of confused. Like, why, why, what's the big deal about this girl's shirt? Like, what is it, like? So, Leon, we'll take it from your line. Is there something I'm missing? And it's obvious Liz is drinking the coffee. Mm. Drinking the coffee. Tinted water is so good. Tinted water? You've just revealed a secret about Victorious. Uh, uh -oh. Look, it's the piano. They yeah, acting kind of strange. I can't. Like, I'm looking at this from a dad standpoint. Like, it's one thing to be recording because it's recording time and my child is an actress. But it's another thing to be behind the scenes. Wow, this this just brought me back to something. And I'm going to tell y'all something because I actually had an acting experience. And I'm going to tell y'all the truth about these sets. But it's another thing about the behind the scenes recording me just like she's propped up on the couch, chilling, relaxing, being herself. And you have a camera on her. Why? And this is not the main camera. Why, bro? I'm interrupting yeah, the entire play. rehearsal process. So, what Here I go. A really cool song that you're going to help me write tonight. I can't. Andre, you There's have so to. There's so many lies. Go. Come on, come on. Come on, I need come on. you, please. All right. I'll just celebrate my... Oh. Right. I'm going to go change because my shirt... There's so many whys. So many whys. All right, before we go into this video, I just want to tell y'all a short little story about myself so i actually tapped into acting um when i was a kid i always wanted to be an entertainer i didn't know what kind of entertainer i didn't know youtube was gonna be a thing i didn't know any of this like i grew up with dial up with like the internet you needed dial up like somebody couldn't be on the phone and somebody couldn't be on the internet at the same time so i didn't think oh i'd be a youtuber one day i wanted to be on tv just like everybody else so fast forward i became an adult I done built some confidence and I met some people or whatever online. They Well, they actually found me. They wanted me to be in their movie. Okay. So the first movie that I was in, it wound up airing like on Amazon Prime or something like that. It was really bad. So I never promoted it. Never really talked about it. Anything. The production was horrible. But anyways, I noticed that in between scenes, there was a lot of inappropriate comments along with after the day was over for like us to be done and us to go home because these days last so long 
and we're eating little snacks in between. You guys don't understand how long it takes to record one scene because that scene is being recorded from so many different angles. So us as the actresses and actors and actresses, we're exhausted. We're in there sleep deprived. You know, some of us, like we may have to take a shot just to really get back into it, taking energy drinks. Like it's a lot to get ahead and portray this person for this scene. Now, the people in the background, they're taking breaks. They're, they're, you know, they're switching out everything. I realized a commonality of two of the movies that I was in. After the movie, like the last day of shooting, it seemed like they always wanted to hang out and drink, like, at wherever we was, which was always an Airbnb. And I also had a scene which made me like, hmm, that's very unprofessional. Then I also had a scene where I had to do like a um, a spicy scene. I'll put it like that. And while I'm doing this scene, it's my first time doing it, it's very uncomfortable for me. I don't want to make the girl feel uncomfortable. The whole thing was just very, mm, just, just ah, like I had a lot of anxiety leading up to it. But I just, I, I took a shot and was like, fuck it, I'm going to just do it. Now, I mean, but while I was doing the scene, they would cut, and then the people in the background would say things like, man, like the older men, hey, man, let me do it. I, I could do it better than him. Man, he, that young guy, he don't know what he's doing. Like, they'll make these jokes, but mind you, this girl has no top on. She's in the room full of men, a camera, and, and to me, I mean, she was comfortable. She was good. All consensual, everything. But for me, I think I was getting secondhand embarrassment for her. Because I'm like, this is so, like, this is not okay. Like, this is not okay at all. Like, this this doesn't feel professional. Again, back to what I said earlier, in this type of environment where you know the woman is vulnerable, be as cautious as possible. If instant, like, for all these guys to be in here is crazy. Some of y'all need to stand out there. I think it was like one woman in the room and it was a whole bunch of guys that were, you know, and I, I don't know that experience just told me what that industry is like, because now here I am doing this at the lowest tier. I can only imagine what it is at the highest tier where the, re the reward is way bigger. I, I don't think I got paid for doing that. It was literally just experience and exposure. So imagine if somebody's getting paid. The type of stuff that's being said. The things that's, ah, uh, it's just a lot, man. It's a lot. So, let's get back into this. It's Drake Bell from Drake and Josh. I, sleep and I was sleeping on the couch where I would usually sleep. And, and uh, I woke up to him. Uh, I, I opened my eyes. I woke up and he was, uh. Wow. And I froze and was in that picture shock is crazy. And had no idea what to that do. That picture was crazy. Or how to react. You know, he's so apologetic. Oh, this will never happen again. I'm so sorry. You know that I I don't know what got into me and 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 I I crossed the line and, I, and this will never happen again. Um, and well, Brian Pick, he figured out how to, uh, convince my mom and everyone around to have me, you know, anytime I would have an audition or anytime I needed to work on dialogue or anything, I somehow ended up back at Brian's house. Mm. I really don't know how to, uh, elaborate on that on, on camera, really. Why don't you think of the worst stuff that someone could do to somebody as a And that'll answer your question. Wow. I don't know how else to put it. It's so crazy, bro, because I, I grew up watching these people. Never, a, never could tell. One time thing, it was not a, oops. I no, it is. I mean, I. Uh, yeah, 
That's hard to talk about. I was man. sleeping on the couch where I would usually sleep. That's crazy. And you know, I feel like a lot of men go through that, but pride gets in the way. So let's see what Dan Schneider has to say about all of this. And this is how we'll close the video out. I definitely owe some people a pretty strong apology. Yes, let's talk about the massages. Okay. Watching the content yesterday, it was disturbing. It was wrong. It was wrong that I ever put anybody in that position. It was the wrong thing to do. I'd never do it today. I'm embarrassed that I did it then. I apologize to anybody that I ever put in that situation. And even additionally, I apologize to the people who were walking around Video Village or wherever they happened because there were lots of people there who witnessed it who also may have felt uncomfortable. So I owe them an apology as well. Yeah. Dan, talk to me about the writer's room. From what I saw, not cool. No, no, and I, I don't mean to cut you off, but if I can cut right to the chase, let me just say, no writer should ever feel uncomfortable in any writer's room, ever, period, the end, no excuses. Most TV writers, comedy writers have been in writer's rooms and they are aware that a lot of times there are inappropriate jokes made and inappropriate topics come up. Uh, but the fact that I participated in that, especially when I was leading the room, um, it embarrasses me. I shouldn't have done it. I definitely owe some people a pretty strong apology. Let's talk about the massages. Okay. Watching the content yesterday, it was disturbing. It was wrong. It was wrong that I ever put anybody in that position. All right, man. So, very disturbing video, I must say the least. Um, I just wonder, like, can something happen, like, I don't know, like the same way they was able to do something for Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, now Diddy. Does will Dan Snyder get some type of repercussions? And comment below, can he get some type of repercussions? I don't know. I don't know if it's too late. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I don't know if since nobody came forward saying he really did anything, it's like he kind of covertly was doing stuff. I don't really know how it works. But hey man, y'all hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. I'm trying to hit 100K. It's free to hit that subscribe button. It's free to hit that like button. And it, it means a lot to me, all right? Um, so, hey, man, until the next video, I'm out of here, man. Peace.